Welcome, everyone. We are extremely excited to welcome an illustrious board of deal makers in order to discuss our first ever uh, sentiment study around the MA uh, for 2023. I would like to introduce uh, Larry Hintz, who is uh, the global head of MA for Dentsu, Grayson Lovrens, uh, founder and CEO of Power Digital. Jasper uh, Mayer, the Managing Director in Corporate Development at Accenture. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, it's Troy Norart. Uh, Troy is the Managing Director of the Private Investment Group of PSP Partners. Uh, let's get into uh, the survey and the survey outcomes. The acquisitive levels are still very strong. Uh, then we also see that there was a continued hope and belief that ad spending will remain strong in 2023, there were some differences between uh, buyers and sellers sentiments, uh, whereas the buyers expected that the marketing services valuation would be uh, to degree decrease, while uh, sellers indicated that they should be uh, unchanged. We actually saw that the volume of transaction in Q1 uh, were actually uh, very high. And you see that obviously the big difference uh, from this data point is that the volume is high, but the deal sizes are very low. The first half of 22 for us was incredibly frothy. Uh, valuation really to the point of uh, an extreme. Uh, we saw a softening in Q3 and even more in Q4. Valuations came down, new deals coming to market were less competitive. And what we saw or expected for 23 was a return to a little bit more normal course um, than what we had experienced since COVID. In the survey, sellers said they expect valuations to be the same or go up, and buyers said the opposite. And so I think sometimes that could make for a more difficult deal-making environment um, where there's maybe not full alignment on what values are uh, and that can be tricky. We are certainly uh, seeing 23 as an opportunity. The great news for us is we don't mind turbulent times. That's where a balance sheet investor, as opposed to a regular way investor, can find opportunity. Um, we, we're business builders, so we're looking for to find businesses. And frankly, for us, great businesses will be easier to identify, we think, in the next 12 months than they've ever been. How do you deal with virtual office? environment and specifically i mean that there's obviously the obvious one with in terms of culture right and how do you approach this but then there's also the how do you look at this from an m a evaluation standpoint because the interesting part is right all these office costs have gone away yeah i, I think you started with the right point which is cultural for us is does the culture match the the what's going on with the business and for companies there, there are many out there that were pretty virtual even before it was a thing, that's great, right? They've figured out how culturally to operate in this environment. And the idea is to keep your best people, right? What what culture is it that's going to allow you to get what you need to out of the best people in your, in your organization? And uh, all of that comes down to not just footprint, but design, uh, collaboration, events, whatever it is to, to drive, to get the best people, attract, retain those people as well. We make a point out of incredibly early in conversations with a company to ask them, well, what is the secret sauce for your people? If the secret sauce is that you, you want to have pizza Friday, that's great, right? I, I know it's a very basic example. If your secret sauce is you don't like to report income on W-2 forms, right? Well, then we have an issue. We, we, we can't accommodate that. But then, but we want to understand what the secret sauce is so when we get to integration, we can, we can preserve the things that are important. Our philosophy, at least, is to let people work the way that they want. Uh, whether they want to be fully in the office, great. We'll have a setup for you. We'd love to. We'd love that. If they want to be hybrid, awesome. Or if they want to, you know, work remote. If you think having somebody in the office is how you're going to watch them and make sure that, you know, they're working hard and doing what they need, I think that you probably have bigger issues uh, to, to focus on. 